Give me that girl. It's Wall to Walk Country. Wall to 102. It's the morning doc house. It is 8.31 in the morning. Chad Ario, our first guest of what will be three months of guests. Is Walls that what we have? Walls 102 and you. Walls 102 and you. We invited Chad to be the first one because uh, I know that you're not afraid of a stage. No. And you're no. not afraid of a microphone? That and I just met you, and you have a pretty interesting life. <laughs> <laughs> so That's one far. way to put it. <laughs> so let's go back to, um, you were, and I know him from way back in the day. We worked together back in the day. But you were sitting at home because you're a union construction guy, yeah. right? Uh, and you do multiple construction jobs. I know that you did concrete. You did, what do you call it, a, a tinman? Is Sheet that what metal. It is? Sheet, Sheet metal. metal. All right. Uh, but you found, as the economy took a der- downturn, what is this, eight years ago, nine years ago now? Yeah, about ten years. Ten yeah. years ago now. I realized it wasn't as good as I thought it was because yeah. I was sitting at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there wasn't so, a lot of work. I was so a work. lot of people sit at home, and uh, and when there's no work, what are you going to do, right? Well, you decided what? Uh, I, I just wanted to keep myself occupied, and I was watching Whose Line Is It Anyway? Love that okay. show. That's a fantastic show. And yeah. decided to, oh, maybe I'll give that a shot. And I Googled improv and uh second city came up and i realized that classes are about a thousand dollars and open mics are free so i decided to do stand-up comedy instead (laughs) (laughs) that makes perfect sense how'd your first show go first ever show oh you've told me this i think Uh, my first open mic i had three minutes of material about the winter olympics and i had spent a few weeks writing it and it went really well it went really really well and I got off stage, and a couple comics that I knew and respected were like, hey, that was really good. What are you going to do next week when the Olympics are over? And I went, oh, no. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> that was my funny stuff. <laughs> yeah, was, I right. can't talk Olympics for the next four years. All right, let's right. figure this out. But this kind of that kind of spurred you to like follow your heart, right? I mean, I don't know, follow your dreams. You take started a risk. there. Take a risk. Yeah. There we go. And it went from there and ballooned, and we're going to talk more about that coming up in just a bit. It's Walls 102. Derek Church, round here, Buzz. It's Wall to Wall Country, Walls 102. It's the Morning Doghouse. Our guest in studio, Chad Ario, this morning. He was uh, talking about his first time on stage as a comedian. Uh, it worked out, but you found out you had to have more material, right? Yeah, always writing. Always so, writing. From there, the next thing you know, and Chad's a friend of mine, so he's regularly telling me you were on, I'm trying to remember the different shows. You First off, you were in, you, you started doing some extra work on movies and TV shows, right? Yeah. Um, I, did my, I was on Chicago Fire, Chicago PD. My truck shows up on camera more than I did. Yeah, by the way, if you, he's told me this. If you own a truck, that makes you an, an extra valuable extra. Right? Oh yeah! If you got a nice looking vehicle, they'll give you an extra <laughs> an extra one hundred dollars on top of like the minimum wage they pay you. So those so wait, wait, just a side note here for a second. So the, the trucks you see on TV, they didn't rent those, they didn't buy those. They literally just said someone's if, truck. If you want to be on the show, bring your truck. Yeah, for the most part. That's um, it. The the main characters, those are all out of the studio lot. But anything you see parked in the street, that's just some regular Joe's truck with a fake license plate on it and they'll pay pay it to be there just hopefully it doesn't get sideswiped they just yeah. they digitally change the license plate no they just it? stick a piece of paper over it oh the, oh, yeah. oh okay so what tv shows let's go through you were on your biggest one was that crisis that was crisis that was my brush with actual dialogue and and a regular job and it, it was a lot of fun and it got canceled well, it did a, one season. One season. Right. One season. One season. Was this, what was the network that that was on? That was on NBC. Okay. That, was, that was a lot of fun. I worked with a, a lot of really cool people. Jillian Anderson, Dermot Mulroney, Max Martini. Um, it was just a really neat experience. And you were one of the kidnappers in that, right? Yeah. And I show up. I, I was in almost every episode. Unfortunately, the kidnappers all wore masks. Oh, right. So, so it's hard really to pick really me out. <laughs> So interesting, you said they all wore masks, but he told me this a while ago. So if you just see, like, bad guy number one, that guy didn't get paid as much as something that says big bad guy, right? If there's something that points out what what which guy yeah. it is. Yeah, and, it, like, you, your, your stars will get a nice chunk of change, and then bad guy number one gets scale that day, which might be a few hundred dollars. Okay. And then the guys that you don't see credited, um, your, your background they might get a couple hundred dollars a day and then you've got your actual like your extras that like just walk through the scene are probably getting 80 bucks a day okay so you did comedian work you became an actor and now you've moved on to something else 
I know what it is. We're going to talk about it coming up. It's Walls 102. Y'all check this out. It is Wall to Wall Country, Walls 102, the morning doghouse. It is uh, 10 minutes in front of 9 o'clock. Our guest in studio, Chad Ario. We talked about uh, how he became a comedian. After after being a union worker, you're out of work. You could have sat on the couch. Instead, you said, well, there's this dream I want to do. So you went there. Then you went and acted. And now you found your way back to what you said really got you started, right? Because didn't you say you wanted to do Second City and improv and stuff? Yeah, yeah, that, that was good. that's what uh, drew me to it. Um, and now I'm back. I'm working with a group out of the Quad Cities called Open Source. Um, it's it's a lot of fun. I, I, I haven't had this much fun on stage since I first started doing stand-up. Nice. I'm still doing stand-up, um, but it's just a lot more improv. Improv is fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I, when I was coaching uh, drama at uh, at uh, the high school, I, that was my favorite thing. It was so much fun just to just to it, going with it. It's it is adult play, yeah. is what it is, right? I, right? I kind of hit a wall creatively trying to come up with new material and stand up. Oh I well, this will give you some. And I started doing improv to kind of give me a spark, and it's just yeah. I was just going to ask, like, what kind of inspires you for your material? Like, where does it come from? Just life. Day-to-day stuff? Yeah. Your kids um, and yeah, friends. Anytime, and <laughs> anything negative that happens in my life is usually pretty good <laughs> for stand-up. Yeah, when, when things don't work out is when it works out best Twist on stage. Twist the funny note on I've it. seen his stand-up. It is, yeah, it's, uh, what's the word? It's, it's it. you put yourself down a lot is what. Things That's that, easy Bad things yeah. that have happened to you <laughs> and stuff. All right, we do a thing, uh, the joke of the day. It comes up just after 9 o'clock. So I, I, know, I didn't tell you to have a joke ready, but... You, you got 10 minutes or so, and then <laughs> then you got to have a joke for us. I got to have a joke. All, All right. right. All right. Super short. They're short jokes. Okay. All right. All right. To Walls 102. <laughs> it is Wall to Wall Country, Walls 102. It's the morning dogcast. We did what you should never do to a comedian, by the way. Tell them to tell you a joke. Tell me a joke. Don't <laughs> you hear that all the time? Because that's not how comedy works, right? Uh, some guys are one liners. I'm more of a storyteller yeah. I, I talk with the crowd and with the audience and it just kind of flows from there so i so what if i set you up uh i know that uh, that uh, chad just came up with a, a, a new drinking game right yeah it's it's called depression it's, uh, <laughs> it's where i drink a 12 pack of beer and then cry myself to sleep <laughs> so far i'm undefeated there you go <laughs> see that is how it works that That's is how, how it works that is how uh, that is how comedy works uh, i was showing him like what we normally do for the joke of the day this was uh, this was our joke of the day today was uh, how do you drown a hipster you throw them in the mainstream get it ironic see, see, but that would <laughs> never work ironic. on a, that would never work on a stage would it uh, not with me. Not at all. I, know, I have a hard enough problem <laughs> keeping my own jokes funny, let alone someone else's. <laughs> uh, good. Well, thank you for joining us in the studio this morning, buddy. Thank you for having me. You were the first one. You were our guinea pig. So, And if it's anything like anything else I do, it'll be canceled next week. <laughs> I hope not. It's not going <laughs> there, yeah. To all is one or two. Doug and Danny in the morning. On my car radio on the way to work. Country all day. Wall to wall. Yeah, everything they play, I love it. I always listen to it every day. Walls 102.